There is one story that relates to him building my confidence, his trust in me, and then feeling like we're a team, like you said at the first um, at the first part of this interview. It was when I was 16, and I had just gotten my license. It was the summertime, so I was off of school. And he wakes me up, and he's like, Madeline, I'm, I'm double booked for a meeting. I need you to fill in for me. And I was like, what? <laughs> I'm 16. I don't know. Like, I don't know anything. But again, he had been sitting me on his lap my, or like well obviously when I was a child not an adult but he's been teaching me what he does so I have a general idea you know of what he does and he's like there's this pre-proposal meeting in Long Beach I need you to drive to Long Beach and essentially it was this um, little park that was getting renovated and there was an old bridge on it he's an engineer so he was gonna work on the bridge and then we need to partner with a landscape architect to do the landscaping around the bridge and he's like, okay, your job is to go to this pre-proposal meeting, sign in, and then meet as many landscape architects as you can, get their business cards, give them yours, and then we'll follow up with them later. And I'm like, Dad, what? I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> Sounds complicated. I know. I'm, I'm like, going to need three vanilla steamers <laughs> yeah. before I can even think about this. <laughs> yeah, and he was like, no worries, you got it. I was like, okay. <laughs> so I like put on the most professional outfit I had. <laughs> Luckily, from Model UN, I did have kind of like a blazer and, you know, like a skirt and heels. So I like drive there. I'm like, all right, here it goes, you know? And I basically had to play like a detective, right? Because if I start talking to someone and they are like, you know, an engineer, then I need to end that conversation and move on to the next. Cause I got to get as many landscape architect <laughs> architects as I can. So I'm like going around. And I mean, to be honest, there was only like one or two women there. And it was like 30 men who were probably my dad's age. So like around 45, 50 or so, and then there's just me, the 16-year-old girl, and I'm just like, okay. Very intimidating, <laughs> Very, I would imagine. Yeah, yeah. you think, but, like, I also had a sense of calm just because my dad, like, had so much belief in me. Like, it, it, he made it sound like, this is no big deal, just go do this. And I was like, just okay. Just get it done, yeah. Okay. So then I came back with, like, 10 business cards. You know, they were all landscape architects. I successfully exchanged mine, and then he was like, okay, can you follow up with them? I was like, what? <laughs> so he, like, had me email them and say, like, great meeting you today just wanted to follow up you know and it was just a great learning experience but I think it made me feel really close to my dad because again he trusted me with his job right like he was like go out here and and, and do this and be part of the team and he trusted me or he built my confidence because he made me feel like yes I can do this I can it doesn't matter if I'm 16 doesn't matter if I'm a woman whatever like I'm capable I can go out there and do it and then also it just increased that bond of what we have that you know is a common interest that we share together, right? So like we both like entrepreneurial things and, and feeling successful and like checking things off the to-do list. And that was a huge thing that made me feel like, okay, I did that. I think that was a, a, a good lesson that, <laughs> that he taught me.